ladies. Yes, sir. Oh, you seem really nice. Oh, you're coming from the church. Um, do men on the ship give you much trouble? You mean like hitting on me? Sure. No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore me. Oh, that's weird. Are you and Diego in love? Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. That's weird. Um, unfortunately, you can't fans force a man's attentions. You're a woman just seduce him. Men are such pigs. Forget him. Unfortunately, you can't force a man's attention. Especially if he is a priest with a thick skull. Well, I'm not giving up. I just know we're made for each other. All right. Until you're standing over his dead body with a knife in your hand. <gasps> you are supposed to love me! Is how Later. that would go down. Laters. Let's go midship deck. It's very bright. Oh, I was about to say, you're talking to nobody. Good to see you. Hi, Diego. I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. There's a sermon going on. Shh. Um, who is the St. Monica? If you're the acolyte, who's the priest? Father Clifford. The sanctuary is in the ship's fore on the upper deck. The good father holds services every Sunday morning. Gotcha. I'd like to make a donation to the Father church. Father Clifford takes the donations. You'll have to talk to him. All right. I was hoping to get some karma. There's a church in Rivet City? Of course there is. I hear Angela has a crush on you. Oh. What are you talking about? I'm a man of the cloth. Well, I will be as soon as Father Clifford. Maybe you can make a change. Never mind. It doesn't matter what Angela thinks. Soon I will take vows of chastity. But you haven't taken the vow yet. You're a fool to pass up su uh, such a chance at love. If you don't stop seeing her, I'll tell Father Cl If you don't stop seeing her, I was just curious about it. You're a fool to pass up a chance. Father Clifford says she is my trial, my temptation. I must choose between her and the church. I have chosen the church. That's dumb. Uh, okay, uh, I mean, you have faith. Whatever, it's your decision. Um, okay. God. Stop talking, I want to talk to you. Ugh. The fuck just happened? Yes, my flock is he all looks scary. Of city. You should come to services this Sunday. No thanks. I'll be telling the tale of Saint Monica. No thanks. I'd like to make a donation. You would? I mean, certainly. <laughs> we humbly accept whatever you can spare. However, Saint Monica looks most favorably on donations of 100 caps or more. I'll do it. A most generous offer. Maybe I'll get some karma God points. You. Better get some karma points. No karma points. I would. Oh, thank you. So let's say, I would like to gain some karma. Um. Ooh, shit. Oh, fuck. I could be. You know what? I'm considering it to just rock the boat a little bit here, literally, on the boat. <laughs> but I want, you know, Angela seemed really nice, and she really likes Diego, and I think Diego and her should end up together. Hopefully she... I'm lying. What? If that's true, I'll defrock him. Not only is he fornicating, but he's doing it with such an innocent She loves girl. him. She loves him. I saw them myself on the light deck under the stars. It's just a rumor. I would, uh, yeah, I'm gonna lie again. Ah, Diego, what have you done? He has forced my hand. I cannot let him be a priest now. I'm a matchmaker. This may be the end of the faith if I cannot find another acolyte. I'll be your acolyte. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, all right. Saint Monica bless you. Mm-hmm. So you gonna go yell at Diego? Oh shit's about to go down. Oh shit. Oh shit. It was so noisy last night I could hardly sleep. Maybe a quick fix has something that'll help you sleep. Cindy's got all kinds of good cameras. I'll try that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That exchange was hilarious though. I didn't mean to pull out my gun. Holy shit, that was pretty funny. Oh, that was pretty good. Hello. <laughs> What an asshole. He didn't- I thought he was going to confront him and be like, You can't be a priest anymore! But, Robocop? I do the repairs around here, so if you see something that needs fixing, this place could use a few more people willing to work. Hi, Henry. Everything is falling apart. I'm the only one willing to fix it. I'll help you. I'm busy, I've got a lot of I'll help you, though. I'm offering help, you asshole. Fuck you. 
I could have helped you. I have a good repair level. There's the science lab, though. Let's go talk to Dr. Lee. Ask her about Dad. Oh, shit. You scared the fuck out of me, Victoria Watts. You've been rather busy lately. Asking questions. Investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Uh or do you have some kind of I, personal grudge against an innocent android uh, no. who simply wants to be left alone? What? Please tell me. Oh, I'd really like to know. I. Who are you? Fine. Let's cut to the chase. My name is Victoria Watts. I work for a movement whose goals are directly opposed to your own, apparently. It seems you're trying very hard to locate an android my associates and I have tried very hard to hide. You can see how that puts us at odds. I. I don't know this it's, what would you have me do? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll save a man's life. Okay, but I'd, yeah, I, I'd like to know a bit more about this. If I help you, is there some kind of reward, or...? Of course. If you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Is there any better compensation? But... What is this movement you mentioned? We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, what about human slaves? Don't you try to help them too? Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our it's android true. brethren have only us. That sounds like a noble cause. Um, anything else I should know? Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. Okay. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, He's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, no, I'm don't good. take that I away won't. from him. I won't. I was just curious about the, the case in general. I wasn't necessarily going to turn him in. Can I join the railroad? Tell you what. You deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead. And you can consider yourself a member in good standing. Hey, I'm finally actually going to get to join a faction in this game when I haven't really so far. You know what you need to do. Oh, she was a ghost the entire time. My God. All right. I'm assuming that's Dr. Uh, Lee down there. Why was she just randomly in here? Hello. Please excuse me. There is much work to be done. You're the android. Really? You sure don't look like a scientist. No, no. I'm only here to help with moving things, lifting heavy equipment. I'm no scientist. I simply help Dr. Lee in whatever way I can. You're the android. I call it. Dr. Lee, you're scary looking. Dr. Lee. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. What the fuck? I, it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. I actually do kind of look like him. You're James's son, aren't you? Yeah. What are you doing here? Do you know my dad? Wait, you know my father? Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? Kind I of. James never told you. Except for I knew who you were when I came here for some I'm reason. Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long? Mm -hmm. You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Can, can, uh, can, father, have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. No. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Yeah, shit happened. I left the vault to look for him. Screw the vault, I'm not staying cooped up in there. This is about me, this is about my father. Now, where is he? Your father is no longer here, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't use that tone with me. Sorry. I'm sorry. Could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. 
He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Okay, where's this old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial building, northwest of here. Jefferson Memorial! Please don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. It's not far. Um, it's really not far. Okay, look for dad in Purity's control room. Um, can, can you find it? Can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? Why'd you pause? Why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. Uh, you weren't prepared? My mother is dead, whatever. I knew, never knew her anyway. Uh, I understand. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yes. Well, uh... I'm sorry it wasn't enough. What was my father like back then? James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. Well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work. And your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Yeah. Well, um, never knew my mother could tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. Mm -hmm. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Ah, don't say that. That makes me sad. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Um, is there any way you can help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. Come on, isn't there anything you do to help? I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. It's not much, but it'll <gasps> make things easier for you. Man, speech is the best in this game. Um, I'd like to know a bit more, more about you. What? Well, I... She's really I'm interesting. Not sure I like this. What there is to tell. Your father and I, we worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. What complications? I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. What complications? Um, tell me about the project you worked on. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? Uh, what's the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Makes sense. A simple idea and yet so impossible to realize. <clears throat> the plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. Hmm. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. Why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down. We understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small scale tests were fine. But any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just too much. Hmm. Maybe if we'd had more time or better equipment. Why, well, my father's son, I might be able to help. Why did you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. Uh. It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we could handle already. But your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Hmm. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Shit. Sorry. I mean, I understand. I mean, he, his responsibilities, I mean, it's that needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few sort of situation where it's like, yeah, you have your own obligations, but at the same time, you're helping a lot more people by focusing on the thing. So I can't fault him for choosing... Danzathin over Project Purity, but at the same time, it can go either way. Okay. Um, she agrees. Uh, what is this lab? What are you doing here now? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. That's good. Um, 
kind of place is this Rivet City? Uh, do you know about the city's history? I can tell you all about the science lab, but even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. Yeah. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. Yeah. All right, I have to go now. Good luck finding your father. Thank you, Dr. Lee. She was the best. I could listen to her talk all day. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? Oh, Jesus, the android what, thing. What do you need? Oh, Jesus Christ. Is, uh... Yeah, see you. And a halt. What is this guy? You there. Oh, Dr. Zimmer. What are you, some kind of I can lab tell him. assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Mm hmm Are you by any chance for hire? Well, I mean... <laughs> you you have a problem with the way I look? <laughs> that depends what exactly we're we talking about here. To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Missing property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you It's an android. I already know. I want to tell you that I have a piece. Robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. Yes, the android. I you see, in yeah, the an world, we've made artificial an android in persons, there. Yep. synthetic humanoids, an android, programmed to think and feel and do an whatever android. we need. It's an android. And occasionally, they get confused because they're androids, and sometimes they want to leave. All right, the android is dead. See, here's an internal uh, component. What? Let me see that. This is a neuro servo. Unique to the A321. There you go. I... And you say you got this from his corpse? Yep. I suppose there's no other way you could have obtained it. Well, nope. Damn it. I was afraid this would happen. Out here in this, this wasteland. Well, here's 50 caps for your troubles. Cool. Try to buy yourself an education out here in this hell. Good day. Cool, thanks. Hi, Armitage. That's close enough. Keep your hands where I can see them. Yay, I completed the quest, and I didn't even- I literally just completed that quest in this room. Inadvertently. Oh, yeah, leveled up. Okay, let's get our lock pip pick up pretty high. I want to get open- I want to get that door open, and if that means upping my lock pick, and, a, and it's a detriment to everything else I do, <laughs> I will do it. Um... Repair. Let's get our science up, maybe as well. Or maybe is there like there's unarmed barter, big guns, weapons, explosive medicine. Medicine would be nice too. Or even barter. Like shit, man. Uh, let's put that to sixty. Aaron's out there. Um. That's a 60. Small guns is pretty high. We have five more points, though. Let's put it in repair. Safe flight repair. Safe flight replace. And then... Swift learner. We unlock more stuff now. Night person when the sun is down. Night person gains two... Plus two, both intelligence and perception up to a maximum of ten. Okay, nerd rage. You've been pushed around long enough. With the nerd rage perk, your strength is raised ten, and you gain fifty percent. What was the one that I upped that... Oh, no, that was... The thing that helped me carry more. That wasn't in here, was it? No, I don't think it was. Um, strength is raised to ten, and you gain fifty percent damage resistance whenever your health drops to twenty percent or below. That's not bad. You've gained your own personal guardian angel armed with a fully loaded uh, 44 Magnum. With this perk, the mysterious stranger will appear occasionally in VATS mode <laughs> to lend a hand with deadly efficiency. What? That's interesting. That's weird. Alright. Um, what the hell? That's, that's kind of strange. Um, here and now. The here and now perk immediately grants an additional experience level complete with all the advantages that brings. Does that just... Give me another experience level? Grants an additional experience level. So am I just leveling up now? 
Hey, I leveled up again. Hey, double level up. <laughs> well, that works. Especially when I can do this. <laughs> um, can I do that again? I doubt it. Just continue and just keep leveling up one at a time. Um, four extra points will go to... Did I up? I up small guns a little bit. Um, getting speech at 55 would be nice. Continue. That I can do here and now again. Nope. Okay. Well, anyway. That was nice. That was a cool little thing. Um, finesse. With the finesse perk, you have a higher chance to score a critical hit on an opponent in combat. Equivalent to five extra points of luck. Oh, that's, that wouldn't be bad. Uh, animal friend. <laughs> I like that picture. The first uh, rank of this perk, animal simply won't attack. At the second rank, they will actually come to your aid in combat, but never against another animal. This uh, perk affects dog, Yagui, Mulrat, and Brahmin. Um, okay. Size matters, rad resistant. <laughs> I like that picture. I kind of want to do the animal friend. That sounds pretty neat. I'm doing it. That might be a waste of a perk, but I don't know. I want to do it. Yes. Hello, Garza. Move out of the way. It would make things easier. Oh, thank you. Uh, okay, so can I turn? What does that guy run into? He like ran. Can I talk to the underground la railroad ra la 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 lady? Um, I know I want to do that more. What's aiding the outcasts? Ah, okay. Where'd that lady go? What was her name? Agatha Watts or something Watts? Good to see you. Hi, Dr. Zimmer. Our dealings are done. I was ready myself for the journey back to the common. Well, that's pretty interesting. Is this like the common area? This place reminds me of fucking like Bioshock with the all the statues, fucking portraits. A lot of random shit in this place. Where'd that lady go? You're not that lady. I'm looking for troublemakers. Nope. Hi. This place won't clean itself. That's my job. Yeah, so I hear. Hello. May Saint Monica bless you. I don't care. <laughs> um, is what I heard about Diego true? I was forced to expel him from the priesthood. It's a shame, really. He would have made a fine priest. Yeah. And Diego has done the right thing by asking her to marry him. Hey! Thank God for that. Matchmaker! Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Sweet! Saint Mon Fuck you. <laughs> yes, that's locked, and yes, I can see you eyeing it. I'm not eyeing it. I just looked at it, like, just with my peripherals. Are you that lady? I can't tell. You're that lady. You did a good thing delivering that to <gasps> Zimmer. The so eyes. The android was dead. For that, I'm going to entrust you with some information. Ooh. The android's transformation was done by a man named Pinkerton, here in Rivet City. He's hidden down in the broken fore section of the ship. You'll need to swim to reach him, but if you're inclined, Pinkerton can perform a facial reconstruction on you as well. It won't disguise your identity, but you'll be able to experience life in a new skin and truly understand <laughs> that we're all human on the inside. Well, I need to get to his thing anyway. Did, well, you just gave me information. I need to swim to it? What about the hack on oh, the, the lockpick on the door? That's what I've been fucking investing my shit into. Hey, Diego. Oh, I thought you were Diego. Fuck you, Ted. Uh, I want to go talk to, uh, Kate Bridge. Oh, uh, no, I want to go this way. I want to go up there and talk to the hotel lady, see how Brian's doing. Nothing stops the railroad. Well, don't say it out loud if it's a secret thing, you dumb. Some people. I'll have to swim to it, eh? Here's my old room. The door's still open. What the fuck? How about sister's room? It's still open, too. Hey everybody, how you doing, Brian? I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. I've heard of you, you're one of the good guys. I fucking saved your ass! What the did you forget all that? What the fuck? Oh, Vera's the nicest lady ever. It's so cool that you brought me here. I mean, she makes me do stuff, like clean up her hotel and all that, but she really cares about me. Plus, I found some friends here in Rivet City too. All thanks to you. Cool. I have to go now. See ya, mister. Where's Vera? Vera said that? Oh, Jesus, shrapnel, you look scary. 
Alright, well. Seems I'm gonna have to swim over to, uh... Zimmers, potentially. Door to stairwell. This is where I came from before, right? When I was like, yeah, on the bridge tower. Can I just jump off and swim to the... Swim to the thing? Hello. Hello. It's all nice and beautiful now. Yeah, it was, would be down this way. This place seems very shoddy. Ah, uh, if I could just swim to it, that's fine, but that door, what, what about the door? What about the door? Like, I already swam around be here before. Oh, fuck! Oh, I'm fuck! Fucking invisible fucking floor! That wasn't cool. Why are you dancing and drowning there? He's just, he's just drowning. All right. All right, stupid invisible floor. Look for dad in purity's control room. I will at some point game. Don't you tell me what to do. So that's where he is. It's funny, I was talking about D Jefferson Memorial that entire time and then fucking he was there the whole time. Well, assuming he's there, he might not be there, but either way, where are you going? Are you the bullet guy? You're the bullet guy, aren't you? Yeah, you're the bullet guy. A wanderer without a weapon doesn't last long, Elf. I remember you. I'm here to buy. Please. Please. Enjoy my selection of high-quality problem solvers. Mmm. <laughs> Shish kebab. Um. How many shotgun shells do I have? I got a lot of shotgun shells. I think I might be a good guy. Never mind. All right. Um, is, is there like anywhere I can actually swim to there? Like under there, maybe? Or I'm gonna give it a try, but I, I'd hate to have wasted all this damn fucking um points on the skill points on lock picking. Not that it's wasting points. I mean, I still like it's nice to have. Have the points invested in that, but <clears throat> lock picking isn't everything in this game. I could have invested in small guns or repair, or you know, a lot of other things. So hopefully not. But that seems to be like the only door, though, and it's like right on the side. Fuck off, fly! I heard you. Like, could I swim over there? I'll have to like go over there, save it. I'm just gonna try the door again, but I'm pretty sure I just need- I still need that hundred. A hundred fucking points in lockpicking. That's like, they don't think you're gonna get that to, to that any time, like, in the future. I understand now what people were saying about, um, yeah, very hard. Um, what people were saying about how I was gonna end up kind of skipping ahead on the story without doing other things. Because I did- I went to the- The, uh, news place. Even knowing, like, I already started asking about Dr. Lee. Because I had already been over here. So, that doesn't seem to be it. But what about swimming the other way? On the other side. Let me check. But yeah, I get what people were saying now. It makes sense. But I didn't. See, I did it in the sequence that, you know, is on the actual mission. And I completed that mission and I moved on. Would be funny though if I had talked to Dr. Lee and then would that have completed the mission thing without having to go to the news radio, the news place? I don't know. I don't even know, man. But she said I would have to swim. This lady, she said I would have to swim over here. The Watts lady. Oh, there's an occupied thing over here. Are all the people who occupied these dead, or I'm just waiting for something to be alive in one of these? Why did it say occupied? There's nothing in here. See? I'm in here now. Wait for radiation to clear. Enjoy your stay. That's gonna take fucking forever. Preser- Oh, shit. It always scares me. It's so loud. Preservation shelter. Yeah, see, there's nothing over there. Unless... Okay, save again. Save 117 so I can never save again. Oh! oh. I didn't realize I could swim like under. Is there anything worth swimming under to? 
Apparently not. Picking up all these rads, though. What's she talking about swimming? What is she talking about swimming if I can't even swim over to it? No, oh, that's fucking invisible anyway. Swimming didn't do shit, lady. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Like, that's all invisible walled. Nothing right there. More invisible wall bullshit. Is there something underwater that I can get to? Or... I'm just gonna quick load. Fuck it. Oh, there we go. So that's where it is. Alright, I could do this in a lot more of an effective way <laughs> without getting as much irra irradiation. Huh. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. At least we found it though. Well, that kind of sucks though, because I was investing so much in my lock picking skill. Alright, let's go under. And let's not get radiated. That sucks. Oh well, I guess. I'm sure you guys were yelling at me. Maybe oh, I'm still underwater. That's not good. That's not good. <gasps> um, okay, where am I going? Where am I going? A door. I'm gonna start to drown very soon. Could we not? I am almost out of oxygen. Holy shit. Oh fuck, that was close. Can we get out of the irradiated sections, please? <laughs> Alright. Uh after I search this filing cabinet and take my shotgun shells out of it. Oh my goodness, there's Meyer Lurks in here. I wish I had a radiation suit. Fucking Meyer Lurks. Shoot your face off. Oh, or it could crash. It could also do that. <laughs> 